So you're a software engineer looking to get your next role. You want to ensure it's the best role possible for you. In the previous video, I pointed you to a resource that would help you maximize your total compensation offer in the context of a multiple offer, multiple interview situation. In this video, I'm just going to remind you about job search best practices. Those best practices will lead you into a multiple offer, multiple interview scenario. Before I explain how, let me just answer why. Why would you want multiple offers, multiple interviews? One reason is if you have your heart set on a single employer, the odds that that's gonna work out are fairly low, objectively. On the other hand, if you have multiple offers from multiple companies, the odds that you find a role that works well for you are higher, and this is great leverage for negotiation time. So with that, tip number one is you have to apply to a bunch of companies. Don't get your heart set on a single company. This does involve optimizing your resume. Put it through the indeed.com ATS review. They'll give you resume formatting tips. Use that formatted resume and apply to many jobs. Do try to define criteria of the job you're looking for, but have those criteria be things about the role, not specific company names. You should be applying to 50 plus jobs per week. After you apply, follow up with a human. Keep track of the companies you've applied to. Only apply to one or two roles at each company. Find a social contact through LinkedIn or other networking means for each company. Those should fall into a few categories, either another engineer, a hiring manager, or a technical recruiter at the company. List those points of contact on a spreadsheet along with the company and the status of yourself in their interviewing pipeline. Have you done the tech screen? Are you through the second round? A lot of these companies will also have a third round. Keep track of all that. Were you ultimately offered? Were you ultimately rejected? If you were offered, what is that compensation breakdown? So that's the high level. Let me give you two lower level additional goodies. One is when you reach out to an engineer, hiring manager, or tech recruiter, what do you say? If you, it depends who you're reaching out to. If you reach out to an engineer, you could say, hey, I'm interested in this company. I applied. Here's my portfolio. Could you review my portfolio? Let me know what I can do to improve it. If they reply and say, hey, it looks good, you can ask for a referral. If they reply and ask you to change it, make those changes, and then you can ask for a referral. Please don't ask for the referral if you didn't make the changes they requested. That's really rude. <laughs> You can also ask that engineer for a tech deep dive and say, hey, I'm interested in this company. They say they are using JavaScript, but we both know there's like a million ways you can use JavaScript. What specifically are y'all doing? I'm curious, do you have 15 minutes to grab coffee and talk about it over Zoom? With a tech recruiter, you can just say something like, hey, I applied, can you follow up on the status? With a hiring manager, you can ask for an informational interview and get more of a business perspective or insight into what does performance review at this company look like? Final note would be at the high level, you need to land interviews and perform in interviews. So doing a diagnostic of if I'm not getting to the offer stage, where's the problem? Am I having a problem landing interviews or am I having a problem performing interviews? And then network with mentors that'll help you improve wherever it needs improved.